Hello, I'm Ellie for edu for java and this is the first tutorial of servlets and GSPs. In this tutorial we're going to see what is a servlet container and we're going to install Apache Tomcat. Tomcat is a servlet container. Uh, there are more like uh, GBoss, WebSphere or IBM, but basically GBoss, for example, uses Apache Tomcat, Tomcat internally. Let's see what a servlet is. A servlet is a Java object which belongs to a class that extends from the class HTTP servlet. A servlet container is a program which receives HTTP requests and delivers them to servlets so that they manage them. Let's see how a servlet container works. The first thing is that the browser ask for a page to the server. The server, which is a servlet container, redirects the request to a servlet, which is a Java class. The Java class generates the page with all the power of Java. We can call a database, for example, and do whatever we need to do to generate a text, which will be the one which we are going to return to the HTTP server and this HTTP server will send it back to the browser. The page, instead of bringing it from a file in the disk, it will be generated by a servlet object, which is programmed in Java. Let's download Apache Tomcat from Internet. Tomcat has been developed by a community called Apache Software Foundation. Here you have the address. It has a lot more interesting projects apart from Tomcat. We can download the container from tomcat.apache.org. We open in a new tab and here we are. Here we have um, different versions which I don't know, we've got Tomcat 7.0, which I don't know if it's stable right now. Tomcat 5.5, .5, which I think is the most installed everywhere. I think it supports Java 1.4, but we're going to download 6.0, which is stable. We go inside. Here we've got the binary distributions, which are the programs. And here we've got the source code to download. This would be, we want to know how is Apache made. Uh, it's not our case. Here we have a version for Windows, um, which installs a service. Here we have zip versions for 32-bit and 64-bit. I'm going to download this one of 64. Here it is downloading. I'm going to open it. Here we are. And I'm going to do this decompress it in the C unit. Let's open the C unit. And we're going to drag and drop. Here we are. We're going to go inside. We go inside bin. Here we have startup. And there it is. It's working. To see that it works, we are going to write local host. Dot eighty eighty. Local host is a keyword which redirects to our own machine, and eighty eighty is a port by default which starts Tomcat. Basically, this is the address of my machine, pointing to a TCP IP port eighty eighty. The server which I have just executed attends me. Let's create a project. We are going to create a project called First Servlet. To deploy a project in Tomcat, we go to Web Apps. Inside here, we create a new folder. 
and we're going to call it like the project first select and inside it we create a new file called welcome dot html yes and inside we are going to put the um, code which is in the in our website here yeah. save and here we write first servlet welcome dot html here we are as you can see we can see the page we've just done with this i finished the tutorial See you in the next one. Bye.